What up, y'all? It's your boy Jake here, and I'm back again. And today, we gonna be busting some globe heads, my friend. So you may remember a few weeks ago when I absolutely embarrassed and humiliated this complete bumbling buffoon globe cuck named Mictoon. Mictoon made a terrible video about me, to which I responded by absolutely destroying him on every single one of his arguments. Now, rather than make a response video and address any of the arguments that I destroyed him upon, Mictoon has made a 10 minute video where he doesn't address a single argument about space being fake. No, he made a 10 minute video about me where he does nothing but assume that I live in my mother's basement underneath of a trailer. Let me repeat that. A 50 year old man made a 10 minute video where the entire 10 minutes he assumes I live in my mother's basement underneath a trailer. Now I know what you're thinking. Trailers don't have basements. Yeah, that's exactly what I thought. But then I Googled it and sure enough, there are some white trash people out there who have somehow stuck a freaking trailer basement together. I don't know how this trailer basement could ever be concocted, but it is a thing. Trailer basements are a thing. And so rather than call him out on trailers not having basements, I'm not going to let Mictoon win on a technicality. So I guess trailers indeed can have a basement in the world of white trash wizardry. Now, moving on to the video, all he does is just assume that I live inside one of these said basements that exist underneath said trailers, and he made nothing but a troll video, basically. In fact, here's a clip of Mick Goon's latest video. Hello, I'm MC Toon. And a couple weeks ago, I did a video on Jake the... Well, Jake, you've got to change your name. Your mom simply won't approve. But I did a, a video on Jake, and he was very upset. He did a 45-minute video where he basically cried about it the whole time. The poor guy. Almost felt bad. Not really. I mean... He has properly described himself. Um, and he was upset that I correctly identified that he lives in the basement of his mom's trailer. This was his response. We get an ad hominem attack, assumptions that I live in my mother's basement and eat Hot Pockets. Oh, and a South Park clip from 2016. Ma'am? Yes, hon? More Hot Pockets. Right away, hon. Now, Jake was upset that I properly identified that he lives in the basement under his mom's trailer. He thought it was an ad hominem attack. It's not. It's something that I can prove. Okay, so you just saw a one minute clip from his recent video about me. And the whole thing, I shit you not, the whole 10 minutes is nothing but him doing that the entire time. Jake. You live in your mom's basement under a trailer. He does that the whole 10 minutes, swear to God. Oh, and speaking of God, Mictoon shows his allegiance to his Lord and Savior, oh, I don't know, Satan? If you go back and you watch the very opening within seconds, it happens very quick, but he indeed flashes the double devil horns showing his allegiance to his one and only lord and savior oh i don't know satan and who could it have been let's see i don't know let me think let me knock on mr nog <laughs> who could trick us into doing that could have been mm, satan <laughs> So this Satan-worshipping globetard goes on and on for 10 minutes about my mother, which basically means this sad excuse for a human being is so obsessed with me and my mother that I don't know if I should be making this video or filing a restraining order against this psycho. 
and he thought that I insulted him. I don't know how that could be the case, because I properly and correctly, provably identified that he lives in the basement underneath his mom's trailer and eats Hot Pockets. Now, to what I promised, proving that Jake lives in the basement of his mom's trailer. So what did I do to prove that Jake lives in the basement under his mom's trailer and that she brings him Hot Pockets? Well, number one, I was not there myself, but it's not necessary. Number two, I did not talk to anybody that has seen him in the basement under his mom's trailer. But again, that's not necessary, according to, J to Jake. I did not reference any photos or videos. For example, the, fo the video of him talking about this, the, the recording videos, does not look like the basement of a trailer. But that's fine because it's not necessary for him. I did identify, though, that it's possible for a grown man to live in his mom's basement. Yep, that's possible. It happens. I also have identified that it's possible to have a trailer with a basement under it. Now, that sounds weird, and a lot of people mention that in the comments. And I have to admit, I have seen a trailer with a basement under it. I identified that it's possible, therefore it's proven. So as you can see, this triggered butthurt loser makes zero attempt to refute any of my claims or evidence that I brought up in the video against him and instead makes a 10 minute troll video where you saw he literally does nothing but assume I live in my mom's basement, which exists underneath a trailer. Very, very clever. So this devil worshiping dipshit then goes on to challenge me to a debate. He believes if he trolls me and talks about my mother enough that I'm going to accept a debate from him so that he can help grow his channel and acquire more subs. It doesn't work like that. I am Jake the asshole. You can't troll me. In fact, this video is going to be a much more epic troll video than you could ever even imagine making. Because I have no limits, I have no corporate sponsors, and Satan is not my overlord. And if you think you're gonna troll me and get away with it, you got another thing coming, you evil shitbag. So let's go ahead now and take a closer look at this Mictoon fella. Who is this guy? What is he really all about? Well, if you simply visit his YouTube channel, you will see he is a professional globe cuck, meaning he makes a living trolling flat earthers. All his video content is based upon him making fun of flat earthers and debating flat earthers. So that means his entire livelihood, his whole life, is based upon getting views of him trolling and debating flat earthers. So this is his bread and butter. This is what his life is dependent upon. Now, he makes the claims that I live in my mother's basement in a trailer. However, if you look at the fact that he's a 50 year old man who plays with toy rocket ships, a 50 year old man who has comic books hanging on the wall, so he not only plays with toys and reads comic books, he appears to have old curtains hanging in the background, which appear to be from like the late seventies. So it appears to me, this man lives in his mother's basement. His whole world is nothing but flat earth. And so he spends his entire life locked away in his mother's basement, eating hot pockets. And so, he projects this energy onto all the flat earthers that he looks up online. And he uses that as his main attack because he himself actually lives at home in a basement. It makes sense. It makes perfect sense that Mick Toon lives with his mother in a basement. 
which is why he plays with toys and reads comic books and has old ass curtains from the 70s in the background. This is indicative of a 50 year old loser who has no life, who lives at home in his mother's basement. It also makes perfect sense he's ashamed of the fact he lives at home in his mother's basement, so he projects this onto anyone he wants to goad into a debate. So if he wants you to debate him, he will say that you live in your mother's basement because he's so ashamed of the fact that he lives in his mother's basement and plays with toy rocket ships. In fact, it's been said, I don't know if it's just a rumor, that he uses the toy rocket ships as butt plugs and dildos. Now, here's something that is not a rumor and is 100% provable. Mictoon has a second channel, a channel where he pretends to be a flat earther. Mictoon literally has a second channel where he pretends to be a flat earther. Hello YouTube, McFlatty here. So uh, my, my, my video of the first 10, 10 proofs of the, of the we're not on a spinning ball. And it never really took off. He never really got the desired effect he wanted out of that channel. So he doesn't post over there anymore. But he used to make videos where he would pretend to be a flat earther. So you have to ask yourself, what kind of 50-year-old loser has to make a pretend flat earth channel? What kind of 50 year old loser not only pretends to be a flat earther, but is so obsessed with flat earthers, he does nothing but make flat earth content all day, every day. Imagine having half your life already lived, you're more than halfway to death, and the only thing you have going on is pretending to be a flat earther and trolling flat earthers. That's the only thing he has in his entire life. His life is solely based upon making fun of people who he disagrees with so that he can continue making his pathetic living, living in his mother's trailer. Oh, excuse me, basement underneath his mother's trailer. What a sad, sad man. Can you imagine being this old and this pathetic and having zero life, zero scientific credentials, and the only thing you can think to do to make a paycheck is make fun of other people? Pretty pathetic. So at this point, me and Rusty are going to prove you wrong, McToon, because you only made one claim. And it's that I live with my mom in a basement underneath of a trailer. We're gonna exit my office here, okay? We're gonna see where it goes. Where does this go? Hmm, couch, some fridges. Oh, look, looks like more offices. Hmm, huh. or is this part of the underneath trailer basement? Okay, let's exit this door and see where this door goes. Oh, look at that. Rusty, ah, hey, stay, Rusty, come back, come back. We have to go back in my trailer. Come on, Rusty, back in the trailer. Let's go back. Let's see. Hmm. This is all part of my trailer. Of course, everyone puts up this sign when you live in a basement trailer. Come on, come on, Rusty. Come on. And then, of course, in my basement trailer, I have my very own uh, Dyson Airblade. It seems my mother let me have a Dyson Airblade for Christmas. Mom, please give me Hot Pockets and a Dyson Airblade. And of course, everyone has this sort of soap dispenser where they live. Of course. Of course. This is a typical bathroom that you would see in a basement underneath the trailer. All right? Here's my artwork. 
And there's the exit, you know, if you want to leave the trailer. And of course we keep a fire hydrant, or excuse me, extinguisher on the wall because that's where basement trailers have. Come on, Rusty. Then we have a code. I'm not gonna show you what my code is to get back in my basement trailer room. Come on, Rusty. Rusty, come on. So there you have it, folks. The very, very spacious basement underneath my mother's trailer. <laughs> Way to go, McToon. Speaking of mothers, um, after just a little bit of research, I was able to find a picture of McToon's mom. Now you can see the resemblance with a side-by-side -side comparison. You guys can see I'm not making this up. This is indeed McToon's mom. And holy shit, is she a looker or what? Man, McToon, yo mama so fat, bitch sat on a dollar and four quarters popped out. Man, McToon, yo mama so ugly, she give Freddy Krueger nightmares. Ooh, burn. Now some people might say, JK, that's harsh to make fun of a guy's mom. Whoa, whoa, whoa. McToon is a professional troll. This is what he does. He made a 10 minute video talking about me and my mama in my basement trailer. So it's only right that I get to fire back and say, man, McToon, yo mama so fat. She sat on a quarter and squeezed a booger out of George Washington's nose. Oh, burn. Now you listen up, Tune, and you listen good. You can't troll the asshole. The asshole troll.